Nonconformity in Yue Ming Juen's laughter. While Ai Weiwei may be the face of the Chinese artist for the West as he tackles migration and censorship, in China, a different face, one replicated thousands of times over in a pink, stretched mask, will to come to many's minds first. That is the laughing face of Yue Ming Juen, one of the most famous contemporary artists of China today. But before we can look at him and a singular solo artist, we must understand that there are entire movements behind them. Two movements from the late 1980s and 90s are relevant here, and they themselves are drawing from the post-cultural revolution, revolution generations in China before them, but also the Western influences entering China at the time. Unlike the movements before them that still maintain some of the idealism and heroism from the revolutionary imagery under Mao, these movements were characterized by disillusionment and anti-idealism. Now these movements, while different in aesthetic, tone, and even message, have the same motivation of breaking down the authority's hold over the representation of reality to show its contradictions and deformities. The first is political pop. This is a comment on the images and propaganda of the Cultural Revolution while simultaneously commenting on China's opening to westernization and commercialization through a deconstructionalist technique. There are comic strips here from Roy Lichtenstein, but yet uh, inserting images of Mao, also Mao as Andy Warhol's Marilyn Monroe, and also these overlapping revolutionary imagery with globalized, often American commercialization, like Pepsi, Walt Disney, which managed to critique both at the same time, by placing them together in an ironic amalgamation of opposing ideologies and mediums of control, one as advertising and the other as government. The parallel movement, and the one Yue is often classified in, is cynical realism. This is less of a unified aesthetic than political pop, but these artists shared a sense of irony and humor often dealing with personal or psychological disillusionment with China's development. Menning, many, including Yue, had been college students or recent graduates at the time of the Tiananmen Square protests in 1989, and this fostered a long-lasting cynicism about the modern reality of their lives. Yu himself notes the origin of his work in his discovery that, quote, the ideas and assumptions we had had about a lot of things were no longer credible. End quote. He started as an artist working with traditional self-portraits, but then developed into self-caricature, stretching his grins and multiplying himself. Uh, this laughter and the expression was inspired by another Chinese artist, uh, where he discovered how a smile could be deformed into the opposite emotion that it normally signals. And Yue's exaggerated expressions and almost cartoon-esque face never stops smiling and is placed into numerous costumes and roles. The pink almost looks scalded or boiled, and the teeth are in neat rows, rows yet leave enough space for a black void in, in between them. The eyes are always shut, seemingly implying that one could only continue to force such laughter if they remained blind to the reality of their situation. The laughter, the doppelganger, sporting the same face and the pinkish ill color of the skin all underscore the insincerity of the laughter and happiness. The absurdity and ambiguity of Yu's faces allow them to pass as a disguised social critique, both as the mask of the individual, as it is a self-portrait after all and he is parroting himself, but also as the mask, mask of a content mass. Yu is not just uh, signifying any contemporary situation, but he also works with what he calls the history of the smile. From the laughing Buddha statues and paintings that populate China, inscribed with wisdom recommending one to, quote, laugh in the face of reality, end quote, to the paintings and propaganda posters of the Cultural Revolution, where there's always happy soldiers and common people laughing and holding up the little red book. It is this use of laughter as a political tool to show the opposite of many people's reality and to convince them of this serenity that inspired Yue's hat series. Hats, he wears the same laugh but donning hats of the Air Force and of the Chinese People's Liberation Army. And the laughs of the posters before become corrupted, distorted into grotesqueness as Yue rejects the, the commands to be happy and at peace with official narratives. In his own words, it is not a denial of reality, but a questioning of it. And it, that laugh, anybody who's gone through China's, Chinese recent, recent experience would understand it, end quote. One art critic said, Yue's response to the real nature of reality is an endless, cynical guffaw.